Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's June 29th, and we are live. Let me see here. Uh, here we go. We are. Oh, my gosh. Hang on. I'm going to pull open just to prove to you we're live. Okay. There we go. Wednesday, June 29th, we're live, and we've got another awesome guest. If you're new, if you've never been on the show, you've never streamed with us, you've never watched the show before, first and foremost, welcome to the show. We do this every single Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern. It's 7 a.m. Uh, on my side of the United States in Phoenix, but uh, we do them at 10 a.m. Eastern, so make sure that you tune in every single day. You can also text the letters W-U-L. Uh, stands for Wake Up Legendary, W-U-L to 813-296-8553. And uh, that will sign you up to get a text message every single morning when we go live. Uh, so it's a great way for you to stay in touch with us. Uh, well, not really stay in touch. We don't really respond to text messages back and forth. It's more of just an announcement. We don't sell you anything. We don't um, try to pitch you anything uh, additional in these text messages it's just a text message every single time we go live. It says, hey, we're live and um, come join us. So um, we every single Monday through Friday, we bring on a guest who has gone through our training or had success with our training. And uh, we like to unpack a bit about their strategy and also just allow them to tell their story. And it, what it does is it helps people relate different stories to their own life experience, give them a little bit of hope, give them a little bit of inspiration. And um, yeah, and it, it allows for people to sit and watch and feel um, the stories from people just like them, which is a really powerful thing. Um, so if you all who are live with us can give us a little hand clap emoji in the comments uh, and welcome on our guest for the day, Andres. Did I say that right? Yeah, that's right. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good, thanks. I'm, uh, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, it's kind of like surreal because I wasn't really expecting it. And so I, I can't believe I'm here. And I'm uh, very happy to be here. Very happy to have you. Uh, tell us a little bit about your story and your journey. Um, was born in Colombia. Now you're in the U.S. But tell us a little bit about, um, you know, where you grew up and, and moving to the U.S. and how you found us. And, how, you know, tell us a little bit about your, your story and your journey. Yeah, so um, I came to America when I was 17. I actually am a drummer, a musician, so I got a scholarship to go to music school in, in Massachusetts. So I ended up there. I'm 41 now. I have a son. I'm a single dad. Um, so unfortunately, his mom passed away when he was like a baby, you know, so it was rough. You know, I've been like a single dad. And um, I've been trying to do the music thing and it didn't really work out for me too much. So I ended up working in the restaurant business for like until not that long ago, you know. And uh, that's what I, when I decided, you know, I, I need I need to do something about this. Like I'm killing myself here, working so many hours, not making enough money, um, take care of my son and everything. So I learned uh, about a digital marketing. I've been doing this for almost like two years, but I just found about Legendary about a little bit over three months ago. And I, I did uh, find it before because I, you know, it, it is what it is, right? But uh, I was kind of like part of another platform that wasn't really, I didn't really get much out of it. And then um, I came across uh, Andre, uh, you know, Andre, the, and um, oh, bro, yeah. Yeah, and, and then I was like, well, like, who is this guy, you know? And I started following him and everything. And I'm like, well, I kind of, I want to be like that, <laughs> you know? Uh, so I I yeah. get in touch with him through an email, you know? And that's more how, how I kind of learned about Legendary. So I took this, the 15-day challenge. And I mean, it was amazing, like, the stuff that I just learned with the challenge. I'm like, oh, my God, I've learned so much more in, like, 15 days that of what I've been working on for the past like almost two years, you know? So I definitely went in there and now I'm actually working on the blueprints, you know, and um, as we speak, so I'm still kind of like, like in process, but I've been doing some online stuff on the side. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like, I still work a full time. Um, you know, I work for, I'm a learning ambassador at Amazon and I'm also a drum teacher at a okay. school, a part time. And I also play drums at my church. <laughs> so I'm, I don't know how I do it, but, um, 
and then I'm doing my online business, of course. You're yeah. finding the time. Wow. Kind of like a nuts. Yeah. <laughs> you're yeah, you're finding the time. You're you're discovering um, pockets and and pieces of time that you can uh, do this, which is really cool. And congrats on that. That's a that's a really what a journey, man. What a journey. Lots of different, lots of different things to pull out from that. And is that your uh, little one in the photo behind you? Yeah, he's a little bit bigger now. That was when he was like two <laughs> years old, but I, I still, yeah. I still keep that picture. You know, I, you know, <laughs> it's so cute, so cute. You know, but uh, I, I still love that picture. You know, so I keep it there. I love it. So cool. Um, so you, you dabble and kind of play around with some stuff for, for the last two years. Um, you have a pretty big, uh, discovery when you discovered our challenge, that's for sure. Um, and so what I'm interested in is, uh, what got you looking around for something online? If you're, you know, you're working at Amazon, you're doing a bunch of, you're doing a few different things. You've got a lot of things shaken. Um, was there a moment where you were like, Hey, I want to, I want to do something online or did it, was it just random that, you know, you happened to find Andre and his, uh, and his like Instagram or TikTok or whatever you found? Yeah. So, uh, this actually, it happened a little bit like during the pandemic, cause I was working at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Remember that whole thing where they close everything and, and then I was at home for, you know, like unemployed. And yep. then we went back when they opened back again and I was working at the restaurant and he just really didn't feel like I don't want to be doing this. It was kind of strange and the whole thing, like I, I, I got to find a way out. So mm. I learned about another platform and I was part uh, of that platform for a while. Uh, but then I wasn't really having any results, you know, and, and I... You know, and no one really was what, having any results soon. Like, kind of like, and that's while while I was doing that, that's when I came across uh, uh, Andre's uh, Instagram. You know, because I came across one of his videos, and I started following him more. I'm like, wow, it's just like it, it was like totally new to me. I wasn't even doing TikTok. I, I can't believe, like, I was never introduced to like TikTok. So um, that's when I, I learned about Legendary and. And then I, I took the challenge, you know, but uh, it was kind of like, that's why I said, like, I wish if I knew about Legendary before, I would have been <laughs> like probably way ahead of the game right now, you know? So it was some sort of like wasted time in a way because they yeah. also have this like tool, like digital tools that I was using that they were not working. And I thought they were working for all this time and all of a sudden all my emails were going to spam. And it was, it was like, <sighs> so I pretty much, literally just restarted my whole thing with legendary you know i got like click funnels and did, started doing the whole thing again my emails are actually working now so i'm like all right cool now this thing <laughs> working so it was kind of like one of those things that I, you kind of crash against the wall like oh my god i've been putting all this work and i mean i did do a little bit of things you know but it, it really i could have used that time a lot more wisely but i guess we all start somewhere right <laughs> That's that's the first exposure that I had to the online world, but I think the pandemic yeah. was made me realize that you know I can't be working at a, a you know at a restaurant in ten years from now. It's gonna kill my back. Like you know, it's just I was so tired going home after like two a.m. in the morning. You know, and so totally. Yeah. I I think a lot of people have that. Um, you know, a lot of people have that feeling of like, man, I wish I would have found this earlier. We have a lot of, we have a lot of people who come on the show and say something like that, say something very similar, which is like, oh, I wish I would have found this earlier. But the truth is, is like, you know, uh, you know, Gary V, have you heard of Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk? I'm not really sure. I don't think he is. He's the guy. He, uh, I don't even know how to explain Gary V, but anyway, he's kind of a he's kind of like a motivational speaker. He's written a lot of books on social media marketing and stuff, and um, he he's always talking now about how you know forty or sixty is the new forty, and forty is the new twenty. Um, basically, like you know, what you're you're forty one. I think you put in our questionnaire, and you know, uh, he's like, look, if you're if you're just turning forty it's basically like you've got a brand new start. It's like, you've got so much ahead of you. 
back in the day that used to be, you know, basically past middle age or like, you know, a, a little bit past middle age. Right. Um, but now it's like, you've got, you've got another half life or more ahead of you. You know, it's like, there's so much time. And, uh, but we get a lot of people who come on who are like, oh, geez, I feel like so much wasted time. But the truth is, is like, you know, you could have discovered it at 75 or something, you know, it's all about how you kind of conceptualize that. And, um, yeah, I, I'm really grateful. I found digital marketing and started building skills early, but man, there's just so much time. There's so much I, there is. And then there isn't right there. Is, I'm sure you understand that with a little one. It's like, geez, where did the time go? But, um, what was, what was, so you, you found us, um, uh, a f yeah, just, just a few months back. I was, I was kind of looking at that like January or something and, yeah. um, something like that. Yeah. And um, by the way, are you coming to one of our masterminds soon? I, I am. I think so. Yeah, because I, I signed for it, oh. but I'm the next one. So I'm hoping to make the next one, you know, and I'm in North Carolina. Yeah. A few hours drive, you know, like maybe. Four yeah, hours. yeah, yeah. It should be it should be in the first week of December, somewhere oh. around there. Love nice. to see you there. I'll, I'll be there. Um, nice. Uh, so diving into the blueprints and actually from the time that you started in January to diving into the blueprints, it's interesting to me and exciting to me that, um, you're already creating content. You didn't wait. I didn't get an email from you asking permission to do anything. You're already just going. Um, what was your thought process? Did anybody just tell you just, Hey, just go, just start. Or was it just like you signed up, you started going into the blueprints and you're like, okay, it's time to go. Yeah, pretty much that. I mean, I already kind of had something going uh, with my YouTube channel. Uh, and I have a blog also that I, I've been doing some re like writing about digital marketing and stuff like that. Cool. But, but literally, I just pretty much started following Andre. Like I was literally trying to do what Andre was doing. <laughs> and um cool. Uh, I just started doing it and started posting like four days uh, every day, you know, and I'm still kind of like experimenting. I have like three TikTok accounts. Uh, one is about to be banned. So I'm working on my copy, you know, because <laughs> I have one more strike to go. And um, and I'm actually going right now through your copywriting uh, course because I've, I've been I've taken almost all of it. But, you know, like how you got to rewatch and take notes and everything. So copywriting for me, I think that's what I need the most because mm -hmm. I was not doing a great job with the copywriting at all. I was like, um, and that's probably why I got like those strikes because it's like, hey, you want to get a system that actually works to make money? Go here, go to my link, you know, stuff like that. And uh, so I'm trying to incorporate my story more of like be more authentic and who I am instead of just kind of like trying to sell something, you know, and that's. That's why the, the copywriting, uh, it's been an amazing, I mean, it's like, th that's a great course, you know, <laughs> like, thank you for, for that. It's like, you really dissect everything. It's like, oh my God, this is, this is so valuable. I needed that. That's what I was like looking all this time, you know, like, mm -hmm. so hoping that's, that's probably going to make a huge difference on my cool. copywriting, you know? Yeah. You know, you know, one thing that, um, yeah, you're welcome. And that was a fun, that was a fun course to create. It was, uh, well, it's just, it's, it's, um, all of marketing is copywriting. And what I've been learning a lot more over the last couple of years is that even video is just copywriting. It's, it's crafting and creating, for instance, let me show you this guy real quick. Cause this is so funny. Um, this this guy have you seen me talk about this guy at all i don't maybe i think slightly a few days ago actually because i haven't missed that show i always watch the, the show <laughs> yes i pulled him up i pulled him up yes uh this guy his whole account is just it's all just copy like if you look at the headlines he's got top five benefits to quitting junk food um, how to burn fat without exercising or eating less. This is one of, this is a, this is a copywriting headline. Uh, let me, let me, uh, let me see if I can 
zoom this in a little bit. Um, I lost that one. It's right. How to, oh my gosh. How to, uh, let me find it. Let me find it. I'm not going to find it. It's, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. How to burn fat without exercising or eating less. This is a, this is a really great headline that has worked for a, at, as long as I've been in copywriting, but this has actually worked for somewhere around the last like hundred years of copywriting. I've read old copywriters books from the fifties, sixties, seventies that are, that teach people how to advertise and this how to, and then you insert what, what benefit are they looking to get? Right? So if you're trying to sell something to somebody, how to insert benefit without the thing that they hate, right? So without what, what is it that the people who want to lose weight don't want to do? Well, they don't want to exercise more and they don't want to stop eating what they're, um, they're already love to eat. And it's just, a it's anyway, his whole channel is just videos where he reads an attention grabbing headline. He looks straight in the camera and he reads a script. That's it. That's the whole channel. He's built 536,000 followers and he's got a, I mean, you already know this, but he's got a, um, you know, a keto product that he's, he's promoting where if you follow his entire link through his funnel, <clears throat> um, it's just a ClickBank product. <laughs> he's a ClickBank affiliate marketer, right? And a lot of times, see, the myth is that people people assume I have to tell my story and I've got to build my brand and I've got to, you know, all of this stuff. But if you look at an account like that, that's over half a million followers and probably getting a ton of traffic, honestly, um, you don't really get to 536,000 followers without a really uh, massive amount of traffic coming from that. Um, but he he's just an affiliate marketer who's just using great copywriting headlines and then is explaining hey here's the top five th five healthiest foods of all time you know here's five foods to heal your body or whatever and i think people underrate that kind of copywriting headline and just keeping it really simple um but but you've that hook is so important and um, like you said, the copywriting element of that is that's that's everything. That's the ability to write a blog. You also write a blog. The ability to write a blog post and grab somebody's attention right in the beginning of that blog, man, that's because Google sees and understands how long people sit on your blog post. And if they keep scrolling, they're tracking all of that. They're tracking how long somebody sits on there. Do they scroll? Do they hit the back button? to go back and look for something else, which tells them, oh, this blog didn't really answer their question, right? Um, so throughout your, anyway, sorry, uh, uh, thanks for letting me rant there. Uh, I'm learning throughout, <laughs> throughout the, throughout the, um, throughout your experience of creating videos, was that new for you? Had you done like social media that way before? No, never. I mean, uh, I've been doing some YouTube videos at long, long form, which I'm still working on. Um, cool. But I yeah, you got you got over a thousand subscribers, right? On YouTube, yeah, mm -hmm. like thousand six hundred, and uh, I've been able to actually monetize it also, which is good. Yeah. Um, but um, the TikTok, like the short content stuff, I've never really done that before, and. Um, Right. So I'm still trying to learn. I mean, I, I haven't really been doing, I know we're supposed to be more of like the how to do stuff. You know, I've been doing more like those kind of like fast, kind of like 15 seconds, uh, not even like eight seconds, five seconds uh, videos, just like kind of like not talking much, but just kind of like putting in like headlines, um, you know, like the the words, uh, the, um, the captions. And it's kind of like on and off because I had a TikTok account before and I wasn't really doing much with it. I was posting, I was going to the gym and then I would post like a little, not nothing really much. And I was not really trying to get any followers. Just, and so I started a new one 
and yeah. that started growing kind of fast but then i feel like when i got those two strikes it's been growing super slowly like just mm. i get two three followers once you know also so i started at no i want <laughs> but it's it's i'm getting a little bit more views than than this one but then i'm not getting any followers you know so i i i'm i'm still trying to like but then when i post those same videos on facebook on my facebook page then they do a little bit better like on average between 500 and 1000 views and i've been getting a couple of i've been chatting with a few of them you know uh like i send them a message and some of them reply but not many so I'm still, I'm very trying to list this new strategy is totally new to me, you know, because um, before I was pretty much just kind of like doing YouTube and, you know, uh, wasn't really doing social media. I was just kind of posting the wrong stuff. And right. my Instagram also, I, I was just pretty much when I did a YouTube video, what I would do is that I'll get the thumbnail and put it on my Instagram and hoping that people will click on there to go to my YouTube channel. But yep it wasn't really working that that much so it's a whole kind of cluster going on right now that i'm trying to get a better direction um i don't know if i should maybe start a new brand account on tiktok like a fourth one i know some people do that like they have like a lot of them so but yeah i i think some people have quite a few of them but also you know here's what i'll tell you um content will always win so i've seen people go uh get up to over i think like over eight hundred thousand or something like that on tiktok and then get quote shadow banned and when they get shadow banned it basically means the for anybody who doesn't know what that means here it means the algorithm they've probably got so many spam reports or people reporting their content or something that now they're um, uh, the, the algorithm, the, the, the app, the TikTok app, they're no longer showing their videos to new people. So they're not really growing their channel anymore. And, um, but they just kept going and kept going and kept going and creating great content and eventually got that channel to start moving again and started collecting more followers and stuff. But I think, I think people um, see shadow banning or a channel being dead as like a final thing, as a thing that's over. But every time that I've seen that sort of be a final thing, it's usually because of the content itself. It's not usually because um, it's, it's like a, it's, this is all over now. You know what I mean? It's, it's usually not that. Um, it's what it usually is, is that the content itself, there's not good hooks, there's not good teaching or edutainment, education and entertainment. Um, and they usually don't have good, clear direction on what they're trying to teach somebody. It's sort of like, um, you know, I saw a girl who had a massive following. She would go live every day, um, had had a six figure online business and TikTok channel went down, lost her TikTok channel, and then um, wasn't really able to recover because it was sort of just a flash, went really fast, and then dropped off. And I, I, I was like, hey, the content there, you've got to step it up. Like, you've got to really create content that's hyper engaging. And you can usually get channels back. So, I would put a lot more focus and emphasis on like really crafting every video to be like fast paced, educational, super entertaining and see where that takes you. Cause yeah, you can create more channels and you can create more stuff. But um, the truth is, is that if you do really focus in and get that humming, get that content humming and you create a few videos that are rocking and you can also go live. All of that will help the algorithm and eventually it'll start to sort of like a train when it's just starting on the tracks. It takes a little push for the for it to start moving and then okay, we're greased, we're rolling, here we go and it's and then it becomes a little harder to stop because it's just moving so quick. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Oh, whoop, sorry about that. <laughs> I think I okay. The stand of the phone for a second there. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I definitely, I think I, I'm going to keep working on that. And also, I think it, it's 
my story, I've been doing more of my story, incorporated more on my copy. I think that I just started literally doing that a few like days ago. So right. I, I think that I'm starting to be a little bit more authentic, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to pretend like make people believe like I'm this crazy successful people person that is making a lot of money on my online business and that's it. So I'm trying to come in more like a like a real guy that is still working, but I'm also having some success and making money on the side with my online business. I'm scaling it while I'm a single dad and you can do it, you know, that kind of more like a real, like I wasn't really doing that in the past, you know? And so I think that's going to have a, like a, I think that's going to have a huge, a good impact, you know? We'll see totally you will. Absolutely will. And it, it uh and when you do that again sometimes what people do is they they see growth videos differently than story or sharing life sort of videos don't make that mistake because people put a lot of energy into these growth videos and crafting the the and what i mean by growth video is like an educational entertaining video that teaches somebody something and is geared towards growing your channel but if you place a lot of focus on um on on telling your story but making it compelling the, the best way i know how to think about that is how dave does that sort of in his uh in the sales video for people when they purchase the challenge right he tells his story but he tells it he unpacks the story and the journey in sort of a compelling way where you lean in and you're like geez this is interesting you know what i mean and he uses he uses sort of big moments in his life where he had shifts and um, he's he, you know he's obviously taken a lot of time to sort of hone that in and craft that in over many years. But um, think about your storytelling about your own journey and story in that way because when you tell it that way, people are really like whoa and i see too many people in our community who downplay their story and they don't want to they don't want to believe that it's a powerful story they don't want to believe that it could really inspire somebody sometimes and so when they post stuff about their journey or their story whether it's weight loss or whether it's um making money on the internet or whether it's um training their dogs like they don't tell it in a way that's like uh, hey i'm gonna inspire somebody today I'm going to inspire somebody to take action that's going to be meaningful in their life, whatever that is, whatever you're promoting, whatever you're not promoting, whatever, you know, you're trying to teach somebody. So does that make sense? Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Makes a lot of sense. What, um, what for you, um, give us a little bit about the future. What, what are you, what are you working on and what's, what's your daily sort of, operation on social on video creation on blog creation what's where do you see this going you're already monetizing youtube that's cool um where do you see this going uh over the next three or six months so my main um focus right now is uh stay consistent with posting four times on tiktok okay. make it better every every day um and then I, I repost those uh, same videos on my Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest, and YouTube Shorts. I've been trying that. I wasn't really doing the YouTube Shorts, but uh, I'm just kind of like trying it out and see see how that goes. <clears throat> and um, just pretty much working on on my on my digital marketing. You know, that's it. I just want to hone in to to just do that. You know, I'm not trying to create a course or trying to you know just kind of like really get that down that one just mm -hmm. concentrate on that one thing and um what i do sometimes is like if i have more time in one day i will do a bunch of drafts on all my three accounts you know so mm -hmm. i'll do like one type of video and then i'll go to my other account and then i put it all the drafts without any captions or anything just kind of like like the video idea and then i'll go back in and start working on on the copywriting on, on each of them and then i, I have videos ready for like the whole week or maybe even two weeks. I did one record that I had for like two weeks, you know, but it wasn't necessarily great because then as I was progressing, I started realizing, you know what, that, that's not that great. You know, like I don't really like what I wrote there, but I can still kind of like modify it. I already have like the video made and like the sound and all that. 
So I just gotta have to change the copy, but at least I already have something made like a funny kind of stuff or so that that's pretty much what um and my goal is really try to make some more sales, you know, <laughs> like I try to step it up so I can eventually have the financial freedom and spend more time with my son and I know yes. it's like I know people are doing it and the people having a lot of success here in legendary and that's why um it's amazing just to be part of this community because you see people that are like, oh my god, like I haven't seen that anywhere else. You know, it's it's you learn so much. You ask a question in the Facebook group, and then someone will jump in and help you out. It's like pretty advanced stuff. It's not like a like a simple question, but like some kind of advanced like algorithm type of question or like a and you got some really good ideas. You know, and it's it's. I mean, I try to help out there too if some. I'm gonna ask something and I feel I can help him, I'll give him some feedback. But uh, I mean, I'm not as, as advanced as other people, you know, that are like already crushing it, you know, but. Um, sure, yeah. sure. But I, I think uh, a big part of, yeah, a big part of being, being inside of our community and stuff is, is the community. It's, it's being able to connect to a community and, um, get questions answered. Also see questions that maybe you didn't think about lots of things, lots of things. Um, even just, you know, a guy in our community recently, over 300,000 people on Instagram, uh, you know, posting our group, Hey, my Instagram got taken down. And just for, just for people like you and me and everybody in our community, who's watching this show right now, just to be able to sit in and sort of watch, Oh my gosh, what does a, what does a, you know, 300, two or 300,000, um, uh, you know, $3,000 commission earner who loses their Instagram, what do they do? How do, do they get it back? What happens? What, it, what's their next pivot? What do they do next? Right. And be able to watch that. And, and, you know, we've had a lot of talk about, we've had a lot of talk about, uh, the vaccine over the last couple of years, right? Vaccine, vaccine, um, it's sort of like a vaccine being able to see all of that. Um, you know, cause, cause what does that do? It prepares your body. It prepares your mind for what's coming. Right. It's, it's very similar in the way that that works for people. Once you, if you're all out there, if everybody's just out there on their own, doing their own thing, no clue what to expect, no clue what, what's going to happen. Um, it, it every turn, every hurdle feels like a mountain, right? But if you've got a community around, you've got people who have um, started from zero because everybody starts from zero, started from zero at some point and either taken our training or combined our training with other stuff that they've done or other experiences, maybe college or something and turned it into a big business it, it creates a sense of certainty and a sense of um, hope that, hey, you know what? I can do this. I can figure this out. And I think that that's cool. That's super cool. Um, for everybody who's here who's new, all right, I'll leave you with the last word for everybody here. Uh, for everybody who's new or is, is sort of feeling out legendary marketer, um, or just generally feeling out like, hey, I want to make some money online. I want to figure this out. Um, what what types of things would you say to them? And and also, uh, what do you say to those people? Because I'm guessing you talk with some of them from time to time. What do you say to those people? And and how do you encourage them to to keep going and to and to figure it out and to learn and to grow their skills? Yeah. So the the first thing that I tell them is that. Um, you're probably like in the best place where you're going to learn this stuff because I've actually been in other places before and it's amazing just by, you know, I've seen other places too. And just by going through the 15 day challenge, uh, it, the amount of value that is there, it's unbelievable. I mean, so like you are, first of all, like you are in the best place, like a great place to learn this stuff. And, um, putting in the work, you know, putting the go, go through all the training, you're going to learn a lot and, and implement the training, not just like watch the video. Cause some tips, sometimes people just kind of watch it and it's like, all right, cool. Like you got to go back and watch it again, take some notes, 
uh, just like I'm doing right now. I'm uh, like rewatching some stuff and I'm actually applying it. Like I go to like an Instagram um, video and then I go to my Instagram account and try to fix what I'm doing wrong, you know, or like, or if you haven't done anything, you haven't started, just kind of start actually yeah. put it to action, you know, and, uh, and just kind of keep putting in the daily work. I mean, try to get a schedule where, you know, it does just take some time. So it's not going to be like a, like in, like, I mean, it's different. People have different results, but it, it does take the people that are actually having good results. They stay very consistent every single day, you know? So I think if, if you put in the work and you believe in yourself and uh, stay consistent, go through the training because you are getting the best training out there. Uh, so um, you're going to be good. You know, it, uh, that's kind of like my best advice, be part of the community, you know, like, check out uh, all these shows every day. You know, that's what I've been doing too. And I've learned so much. Like there's some shows that I've learned like these gold nuggets, you know, I was like, oh my God. And I started implementing something in my own thing because I, I saw someone talked about something in the in this show that I didn't even know that was like a thing, you know. I'm like, oh my God, that's, that's something there. So I would try to watch the shows and be part of the community and ask questions, see what other people are posting and the answers. You're going to learn a lot, you know? So yeah, just keep going. <laughs> keep going. Cool, man. I love it. I love it. Um, and yeah. And, and constantly be implementing what you're doing. Jonathan said, you know, implementation. Yes. hundred percent. If you, if you learn it and that's, that's the main way that, that takes us back to the beginning of the show. And you said, I'm still going through the blueprints. And I was like, Oh, that's interesting. Cause you've taken a lot of action as you're going through the training, which is the key. So, um, amazing work, amazing work. Um, Andres, if you need anything from us, let us know. And also send us an email in a couple months and let's just have you check in. We can have you back on the show. We'd love to have you back on the show. Uh, I'd love to have you meet Dave on the show and um, yeah, we'd love to have you back. Yeah, no, definitely. I'll, I'll definitely keep in touch. I'm going to still be watching the shows and you know, I got to work on my copywriting though. I got to go and do some work on that, but it's getting there. <laughs> cool. You'll get there. You'll get there. Study people who have come before you. Uh, study what they do and and keep going through our training on copywriting. Um, go through it a couple times. It's it's a powerful training. And as you learn and hear other people's stories, one of the best way to learn copywriting is to hear other people's stories. Um, but hey, congrats on all the success. <clears throat> keep in touch and uh, let's have you back on. All right. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. Uh, great experience. So thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate it. Anytime. Awesome. Um, I'm going to put up Andres. Um, I'm going to put up his uh, TikTok right here. You can see it on the screen. It's make money with Andres. Pretty easy. Uh, make money with, and then it's spelled A-N-D-R-E-S. Um, you can go give him a follow. Let him know that you found him on Wake Up Legendary. Give him a follow. And then if he goes live or if he's, um, if he's um, uh, po posting um, content, hit the like button, give him a little boost in the algorithm um, and uh, show him some love. That way, when you're on Wake Up Legendary, uh, you know, he'll do the same back for you. So uh, guys, we've got we've got two more awesome guests lined up for the rest of the week. Thursday, Friday are going to be really powerful. Um, join us live 10 a.m. Eastern on our Facebook fan page. Um, you can also text Let's see here. Text WUL to 813-296-8553 and you'll get a quick text message reminder every single time that we go live so you'll never ever miss a single episode of our show. That's a wrap for this Wednesday. Thanks again, Andre, for coming on and uh, for everybody who's here with us live. See ya. We'll be back here tomorrow. Bye.